One of my favourite stories is on the platypus. Even though the platypus is not in our area, when I was looking at the story, I thought it was most appropriate to take to year fours and sit there as an Aboriginal elder and reading them a Dreamstime, Dreamtime story. The story of the platypus is that um, it's a unique animal and it's got a bit of every other animal um, within itself and the story revolves around the platypus and other animals meeting the platypus and saying you should join our group. The kangaroos have got fur and the platypus has got fur so the kangaroos were the first ones to say you should be part of our group because of your fur. The platypus was very polite in saying well I will make up my mind about that I will get back to you. And then the ducks were there and they said well you've got web feet, you've got a bill and you lay eggs so why should you um, be part of any other group? You should be part of us because of what you do. And the platypus said okay I'm talking to other groups too so I will get back to you on that. And um, the ones that live in the water also said to him, you swim around in the water and you make your nest just on the bank. So because you've got web feet, doesn't matter, you know, you're a water um, animal as well. So how about you join us? And the platypus said very politely again, I will think about it and I will have to talk to my family, but I'm very happy that you're all friends with me. Yes, I've got a bit of difference in me and I've got a bit of each one in the group here talking to me, but then I'll have to talk to my family and I will get back to you on that. So the children are all eagerly listening and thinking, what is the platypus going to do? And they're straining to look at me. And so the platypus spoke to his family and he said, yes, we have a bill, we have web feet. Um, yes, we lay eggs and we've got fur on us like the kangaroos. Um, everyone sort of wants us to be part of their group. But I'm thinking that maybe because of all these things that we have to make us who we are, maybe we should just be our own group. So the family said, well, OK, you, you tell them that then. So gathered all the animals together again. And he said, I have made a decision. And I looked at the kids and I said, he's made a decision now. And they are looking at me with their little faces thinking, oh, what's he going to say? And so the platypus looked at everyone and he said, we are all different because animals are made up of different things. The kangaroo's got the big tail and the ducks are a bit like us, but they're different. Um, and other animals standing here looking at me are different. But we're all animals and we're all friends, so let us remain friends. But my family and I have decided we'll make our own group. We will be the platypus family. <laughs>